Hello, my friends, and welcome to Book a Day for Little Learners. Today, I'm going to read you a story called Snowby's New Friend. It's a winter story about this little girl and what happens with this winter animal. Let's read. Snowby's New Friend by Frosta Wibble, illustrated by Snickerdoodle Couch. When Snowby was born, he was odd for a bear. He shivered and quivered in cold, frosty air. How strange, said his parents. We've never been told of a polar bear shaking because of the cold. There you see him with his mom and dad. See, he's shivering, ooh, shaking, ooh, he's cold. To warm up, young Snowby tried all kinds of fun like making snow, some snow angels out in the sun. A snow angel is when you lay on your back and you move your arms and legs. When you stand up, it looks like an angel. He tried curling up and went sledding down hills, but nothing got rid of his cold winter chills. Have you ever been sledding? Usually you ride down on a sleigh or a toboggan. Poor Snowby was hopeless and gave a big sigh, <sighs> just as an elf from the city passed by. A cold bear, the elf said. Well, this is a first. And then whoosh came the wind in a big, chilly burst. What do you think is going to happen? the elf and her hat flew off because it was so windy. What do you think will happen? Do you think it will land somewhere? Will the bear help her? My hat yelled the elf as it flew through the air and landed right next to the shivering bear. Perhaps this will help you, the thoughtful elf said, snuggling the hat onto poor Snowby's head. And suddenly, Snowby felt nice, toasty heat spread down from his ears all the way to his feet. Snowby looks super happy, doesn't he? Does it get cold where you live? Do you put on a hat when you go outside? You lose most of your body heat through your head, so if you're cold, it's best to put a hat on. Mittens or gloves help keep your fingers warm. The elf picked him up from the blustery snows and gave him a sweet little rub on the nose. Since Snowby was warmer than he'd ever been, the elf wondered why he was shaking again. So we don't think he's cold anymore, right? The hat seems to have warmed him up, so why would he be shaking? What's an another reason you might shake? Have you ever been shaking because you're so excited? But chilliness didn't cause shivers like this. Now Snowby the bear cub was shaking with bliss. Bliss is another word for really, really happy. His cold days had finally come to an end. He had a warm hat and a special new friend. It's nice to have a new friend, isn't it? They're there making snow angels together. They both look happy, don't they? And there's the city that the elf came from. Shall we read it again? Snowby's new friend. So now we know there's an elf, and now we know what kind of animal is this? Mm hmm. A polar bear, a baby polar bear. Snowby's new friend. Snowby's new friend. 
Snowbee's New Friend by Frost a Wibble, illustrated by Snickerdoodle Couch. Illustrated means the pictures were by Snickerdoodle Couch. When Snowbee was born, he was odd for a bear. He shivered and quivered in frosty cold air. How strange, said his parents. We had never been told of a polar bear shaking because of the cold. I think the parents weren't sure what to do with their bear cub that was shivering. To warm up, young Snowby tried all kinds of fun, like making some snow angels out in the sun. He tried curling up and went sledding down hills, but nothing got rid of his cold winter chills. He was still cold, wasn't he? Poor Snowby was hopeless and gave a big sigh. <sighs> Just as an elf from the city passed by. A cold bear, the elf said. Well, this is a first. Then whoosh came the wind in a big chilly burst. Sometimes when it's snowing, like it is in the picture, you can actually see the snow start going different directions. It goes the direction of the wind. My hat, yelled the elf as it flew through the air and landed right next to the shivering bear. So now we know because we read the story once already, we know that the, the hat is going to land on the bear's head. Yes. Perhaps this will help you, the thoughtful elf said, snuggling the hat onto poor Snowby's head. And suddenly Snowby felt nice, toasty heat spread from his ears all the way to his feet. The elf was being very kind by putting the hat on him, wasn't she? The elf picked him up from the blustery snows and gave him a sweet little rub on the nose. Since Snowby was warmer than he'd ever been, the elf wondered why he was shaking again. See, the artist is showing you the shake lines with those little wiggles around him. But chilliness didn't cause shivers like this. Now Snowby the bear cub was shaking with bliss. His cold days had finally come to an end. He had a warm hat and a special new friend. And there are Snowby, there's Snowby and the elf making snow angels. What else would they do together? What else could two new friends do together? In the snow, they could make snowballs. They could throw snowballs. Remember earlier in the story, Snowby went sledding. They could go sledding together. They could build a snowman or a snow family. They could walk through the snow. When you walk through the snow, you make footprints. They could walk through the snow together and look at their footprints or make a pattern with their footprints. What else could they do in the snow? Today we read the story, Snowby's New Friend. I hope you enjoyed our story and that you hit that like button and subscribe so that you can see a new story every day on Book A Day for Little Learners. Thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow.